Hello, in this video we're going to look at optimal commodity taxation. We're going to do a numerical example and employ the Ramsey rule. We have two markets, good X and good Y. The demand for good X is given as follows. The supply curve in this market is perfectly elastic at a price of $5. So the equilibrium price right now is $5. Good Y is identical, same type of demand, same idea with a perfectly elastic supply that is horizontal at $5. And here is our problem. The government wants to raise $8 in tax revenue by placing a per unit tax in each of these markets. What is the optimal tax in each market to minimize the deadweight loss of raising $8 of tax revenue? So the market for good X before the tax, the price is $5. At a price of $5, evaluating the demand, we see quantity demanded is 5 units. To find the equilibrium quantity with the tax, we're going to take the demand equation here, and we're going to add the tax to the price of good X. And we know that the price of good X is currently $5. So this is what the demand for good X will look like after a tax is imposed. 10 minus 5 plus the tax, and just simplifying that a little bit, we have this result. In terms of the deadweight loss, think of an area of a triangle in a supply and demand diagram where the height of the triangle is the size of the tax, and the base of the triangle is going to be, in this case, the difference between the equilibrium quantities with and without the tax, and an area of a triangle. We calculate it by one-half base times height, so that's where this one-half is coming from. All right, so let's get this change in x part. So we're going to define the change, as, change in x as x, which is 5, minus the output when there is a tax. And this will simplify down very nicely. The 5's cancel to just the tax. So making a substitution, we're going to take the tax in market for good x and plug it in right here for the change in x. Doing that and simplifying, we have an expression for the deadweight loss in the market for good x. One other thing in the market for good x is let's calculate the government tax revenue from placing a tax in this market. So government tax revenue r is simply the size of the tax times the number of units taxed. So x subscript t is just the equilibrium quantity when the tax is imposed in the market. And we know from our previous slide that x subscript t is just 5 minus the tax. And simplifying that. Moving on to market y, the market for good y, because the market for good y has identical equations, everything is basically going to be the same, except instead of t subscript x, we have t subscript y. So writing the deadweight loss and revenue for each market. And now, what is Ramsey's rule? This is Ramsey's rule right here. Let's define these things. The MDWL is the marginal deadweight loss from a tax increase. And MR is added revenue raised from a tax increase. So ideally, you want the ratio of the marginal deadweight loss to the added revenue from the tax to be as small as possible. Okay, you want to minimize the deadweight loss from raising a dollar of tax revenue. And now let's calculate the marginal deadweight loss in the market for good X. So we're going to take the derivative of this deadweight loss function up here with respect to the tax. And we just get back the tax. And we do a similar thing in the market for good Y. Taking the derivative of the deadweight loss function in the market for good Y with respect to the tax in that market, you just get back the tax in that market. And now the marginal revenue. We're going to take the derivative of the government revenue function in the market for good X with respect to the tax, and we get back this result. And likewise, doing a similar thing in the market for good Y, you get an expression for the added revenue from a uh, change in the tax putting together our optimal condition and making our substitutions. And now we're just going to simplify this, moving on. So our last expression now needs to be simplified. So we're just going to cross multiply these denominator terms and simplify the left and right hand side. 
And so these terms here will cancel and you're just going to be left with the tax in the market for good X should equal the tax in the market for good Y. Now let's talk about government tax revenue in total. Government tax revenue in total is the tax revenue coming from each market. And we can substitute in the equations for the tax revenue coming from each market that we solved earlier. And $8 here, this 8 that's how much government tax revenue needs to be raised. And so what I'm going to do now is make a substitution. We basically got two equations and two unknowns. So where I have T subscript Y, since T subscript X equals T subscript Y, I'll make that substitution. And now we're going to simplify this equation here. And we can factor out a 2 on the left-hand side. And this will factor nicely as follows. And so our answer here is we should set the tax rate in market for good X equal to 1 or 4. We want to ignore the 4. We're trying to minimize the deadweight loss. So uh, this, this tax here of $4 per unit would come in at a much, much higher deadweight loss. All right, so let's see what happens now. Uh, in, in the market for good X, the price with the tax will be $6.00. Consumers will buy four units. Tax revenue is $4. Dollar tax, and the number of units purchased. And for good Y, a similar thing. Tax revenue raised in good market for good Y is $4. So overall, the total government revenue is $8. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.